Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Um, we are heading now to find the, uh, the the domain and the range of tan. I mean, the tan function, tan x, and tan to the power two of x. Okay, that's our two function we got right now. But as you can see here, the tan is going to have a different, a other different shape. Okay, this is because. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, we're having now. Um, to find the domain and the range of the tan function and the tan to the power two. Okay. As you can see here, uh, the uh, the tangent is going to have a completely different shape. It goes between negative and positive. First of all, we need to use this table of values to represent. I mean, to figure out how the I mean, what value we need to to represent it. So of course, we know that the tan is the sine over the cosine. So we, what we need to do here is just to divide the value of the sign here by the divide by the value of the values of cosine. So as you can see here, we have um, if you have a sign equals zero divided by one, this is going to give us zero. If we have one divided by zero, that's going to give us the infinity. Okay, since we're not talking about the limit, this is going to give us infinity in this case. If we have a zero divided by minus 1 is going to give us 0 again and minus 1 divided by 0 is going to give us infinity and this infinity is kind of an infinity negative okay and this one here was infinity positive so we have a 0 over 1 is going to give us 0 again and we have a minus infinity to 0 is giving us infinity again but infinity on the side negative and we have a 0 over minus 1 give us 0 Okay, that's we got all the values. No, this just you know represent the value on a y uh, x y coordinate. Put in there. Uh, zero is right here. We have zero. Okay. Um, minus. I mean, we are at pi divided by two. Pi divided by two here. This is going to be an infinity, positive infinity. Okay. So it means that it's going to go this way. And all this, you know, in this, uh, in the, in the, in the tangent function, um, the period is always pi, okay, or 180 degree. And the amplitude here, which we've seen that the other exercises with the sine and the, and the cosine, the period was kind of for having one. And uh, if you have like a two sine, it's going to be, it has to be like a two, the, the, the period and the, Amplitude has to be 2, but the amplitude in this case here, in the case of the cosine function, of the tan function, excuse me, let me just uh, write it here, the amplitude here is always the infinity, alright, and the period, remember, the period is from here to there, if you have it for minus pi over 2, to my to pi over two, of course, this is uh, de describing a period of time. This is like pi, and from here to here, describing also pi. So these are this is the period of the tan function, and also the cotan function. We can do that. We will be doing that uh, in the next video. So the period is pi, 180 degrees. When you're talking about radian, you got a pi, and the function, this the tan function, is going to be intercepting. Um, the x y the x axis at zero, okay, 180 or 200 and uh, 360. It means like a pi here, pi, uh, 180 would be two pi. Uh, I mean at zero at pi and at two pi. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so um, like I told you, this over let me the the different angle here, pi over two, three pi over two. Uh, which are here represented in orange are a symptom in this case okay and you know if you remember the math uh, algebra asymptotes are like a vertical they are not crossed by the by the function and these are oh let me put that asymptote okay I'll put like these are asymptotes okay this is what we got here okay so our function can cross this line right here, this is something right here. And now we represented the value there. We said that at pi over two, the function is you know tending to the infinity, and that's an infinity positive. It actually means that 
a function is coming the way and tending to there to the infinity positive. All right, that's how it goes. It will never touch the center. That's what I told you. And at uh, pi, we have a pi here. Okay, at pi, the function is going to be zero. So we have another in here, another dot there, and we have it at minus pi. We have it also at uh, two pi. We have it having a dot. Two pi can be somewhere here. And we have it um, minus pi another dot zero, so the function is going to there. And as you can see, uh, after you know, minus two pi, uh, at minus two pi, the function is going to tend to the infinity, but this is the infinity negative, it means that the function is going that way, okay, and then dropping down, going to the infinity right here, okay. But we but this function will never touch the. Uh, the ascent. Let me just try it again because it's closer too much. Okay, just going this way, dropping down without touching the ascent. The same thing here without touching it. And here is going to be the same. Here, cross zero, and then drop down here without touching the ascent. All right. And the function will describe the same thing here. We said the function is going through pi again because pi here at pi it is also zero. So the function will be doing this one here, okay, and then dropping down that way. All right, and at two pi we have an also zero, so we have the function going this way. And of course, it's going to be continued if we had another ascent of here, like uh, 5 pi um, over 2, something like that. Yeah, it's going to be going along this function without touching it, and we can have it just like that. All right, and here the same thing that we have like right here, we got minus 3 pi over 2, that being minus pi here, so maybe the function is going to cross here, and then describing this, you know, this tangent. So that's how the tan function is um, defined and the y-x coordinate. So now we need to find the, the, uh, the domain and the range of the function. And as you can see, uh, we start with the, the, with, the, with the range. As you can see, the function is going from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, it means I can take all the value of, of the y-axis minus minus two all the r value so we can say that this is only r okay and this is what we said before it is minus one minus infinity to plus infinity because there's no restriction right there and for uh the domain there are a lot of restriction restrictions um, as you can see, the domain is here. It is R, or the value of R, of course, of uh, R range numbers, but without, okay, without, um, or let me put it different way. We can say that it's all the value of of R, okay, without, of course, without x, and this x needs had the value without x that had the value. Um, Pi over two, I mean, x will be different. It's all the, hold on, I think writing will be complicated. So it is all the value of r. It means that x, you know, belongs to r. But, okay, x, that x has to be different to pi over two plus k pi. Okay, I just mean what I'm writing. So this means that we're gonna have all the value of r, okay? But all the all the x value of r we can have it, but without x, you know, different of course, different, and x has to be different to pi over two plus k pi. Otherwise, it could have all the values. And what is k? K here is a constant. K can have the value. I mean, any value you want. Three minus three minus two minus 1, 
zero one two three etc etc what does it mean it means that if you take the value of k like a zero you're gonna have your k zero so we have it pi over two this is pi over two as you can see the function is not defined when at, at this very position pi over two this is an SM text so the function is not crossing it okay if we have in pi over one we're gonna have here pi over two if you have a k over equals one sorry we're gonna have here pi over two plus pi this is gonna give us three pi over two and this is right here of course the function is not defined at this position right here because it's an SM text also and you taking the value in the negative side of the x we have in minus 1 that's going to give us here minus pi this will be minus pi over 2 and this is right here and you continue taking minus 2 this is going to give us minus 3 etc etc so the domain our domain of uh, the domain of this function is all the r values but without pi over 2 plus k pi okay this is the restriction this function right here okay and of course we have the uh, the range we're not going to be talking about the uh, the 10 to the to the square first of all we will start by giving the range of this function okay as you can see um i haven't drawn it already uh, okay so we need to draw it first of all okay so um as we have here i add another you know column to our uh, table of values and as our function here is squared, it means that all the value of the 10 will be positive, even the value that are negative on this side here. So they will be tending to the infinity in the positive side of, of the y-axis. So that's what it means here. So our function is going to be like, we have a 0 here, of course, and we have a uh, function going that way, positive side, also going along the SM term without touching it. And, you know, describing the same curve or here on the side all right and this is going to be a function looking like this so as you can see we have here between um uh, pi over two and minus pi over two we have in both functions they are positive you know infinity in the positive side and we have in zero okay so we have in positive in about both sides so between now pi over two and uh, three pi over two, we also having a positive uh, value of of the y. So it means we're going this way again, and going along the uh, the center three over three pi over two without touching it. So this is our function looking like something like this. All right. And between minus pi over three, minus minus three pi over two, what is it? I don't have it here. And minus pi over two. There we have minus pi over two here. This is certainly the value coming, you know, right behind this one here. It's also going to be plus. So we're having the same thing here, going along the ascent of, you know, dropping down to to minus pi, all right, to zero, and then. Moving, I mean, actually, the uh, the uh, all right, like this. Okay, this is going to be our 10 to the power 10 squared of x. Okay, and our range here, as you can see, will be between 0 and infinity because there's no limit here, it's only tending to the infinity without touching the center, but we don't even know where it's stopping. All right. So the range will be here between zero, a zero is included, of course, between zero and infinity. And the domain, and the domain is all the x-axis. It's a whole thing here, because it's gonna take all the value of you. You can even plot another one here or behind you. So the domain would also be r. All right, minus infinity until the plus infinity okay i mean we can even add here i need to make it more precise because uh, infinity it could also be minus infinity it's actually plus infinity because all the value of the 10 squared are going to be positive on this side of the 
the curve so we will put a uh, plus infinity to make it clear right okay plus infinity so those are the range and the domain of our functions our two functions that we, we had in the beginning okay thank you for watching guys again and until next time bye bye